Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the China Glaze Seas and Greetings collection for holiday 2016. There are 12 polishes here with varying finishes, so I will get right into the swatches. So the first polish is called Sand in My Mistletoes, and this is a very light nude color. So here's one coat. And this one actually covers pretty well on that first coat, a little bit streaky, but for such a light color, I'm surprised at how well it covers. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. And this one is starting to cover well on that second coat, but I do feel like it still has some streaks that are a little bit too dark, so I'm going to do a third. And this one does dry pretty shiny. So here's three coats. And three coats covers completely on this one. I just had a few streaks that I wanted to cover, and depending on how you apply it, you might not even have streaks on the second coat. And like I said, this dries very shiny, but I would recommend a top coat regardless. So there is three coats of sand in my mistletoes. The next polish is called Snow Way, and this is a light, light, kind of grayish blue with a strong gold shimmer. This is very similar in concept to Pearl Jamming, but not nearly as blue. It is very similar to OPI's uh, Oh My Majesty. I believe I haven't stuck the two together because I'm going to do a separate dupes video like I did for the fall, but it is close to that one. So here is one coat. And this one is a bit sheer on the first coat. It's a little bit streaky, but for the most part, it actually applies pretty even. Formula on this one is pretty good. It's a little bit thin for me. It just feels not like watery thin. It just feels like it wants to pool down the sides of the nail if you're not careful. So here is two coats. So you can still see the nail line pretty well on this one on the second coat. But like I said, for the first coat, it does cover pretty evenly. And that gold shimmer stands out really well. I guess it's like a pinky orange gold. It kind of depends on how you look at it. So here's three coats. So I can still see my nail line a little bit on that third coat. It's not super obvious though. You're probably the only person that would be able to notice it on your own hand. But I do think that this covers even enough. You could probably use it as a topper if you didn't want to have to layer three coats. So there is three coats of Snow Way. The next polish is called Eat Pink and Be Merry, and this is a light pink with what looks like the same shimmer. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's a little more pink in this polish, but it might just be like the shimmer reacting with a different colored base, or it could be a slightly more pink shimmer, but the effect is pretty similar. So here is one coat. So this one is pretty sheer and a little bit streaky on that first coat. Polishes with shimmer in them like this have to be sheer. If they were super opaque, you would never be able to see the shimmer. Formula on this one is definitely thinner than the last one. I still wouldn't say it's too thin, but it is noticeably thinner. So here's two coats. And this one is still a bit sheer on that second coat. I can see my nail line pretty well, so I'm going to do a third. And the shimmer does stand out really nicely on this one. So here's three coats. And this is another one that if you look very closely, you can still see the nail line, but it's not super noticeable. And this one also dries very shiny. So there is three coats of Eat Pink Be Merry. The next polish is called Partridge in a Palm Tree, and this is a sea green kind of color with a slight silver shimmer, and this does dry matte. So here is one coat. So this one is a bit streaky on that first coat, and because it dries matte, it dries very fast, so you have to work really quickly with it, or else it can be very lumpy and kind of uneven. The first time that I used this, I actually had to take it off and redo it because I wasn't aware that it dried matte, and I worked with it just a little bit too long, and it got lumpy and uneven and weird. So you definitely have to go into this one knowing that it dries very quickly, or else you will definitely have a problem applying it. It's very similar to Combat Blutes from the Fall Collection that you have to work very, very quickly with it. So here is the second coat. Because this dries fully matte, the shimmer stands out. I mean, you can kind of see it. It's not super obvious, though. But you can always put top coat on this, and it will look just like any other polish. So there is two coats of Partridge in a Palm Tree, and I do have pictures of this with top coat as well. And the next polish is called Twinkle Twinkle Little Starfish, and this is a kind of a sea green shimmery topper with a gold flash to it. This one is not one that you can get opaque on its own. I do have swatches of it in three coats as well, but I'm going to show it today as a topper. And I am layering this over partridge in a palm tree. So here is one coat. So this has a ton of sparkle to it. Good formula, and the base does have a slight 
slightly like greenish tint to it but it's not so much that it would change the color that you put it over unless you put it over white so there is one coat of twinkle twinkle little starfish The next polish is called Warm Wishes, and this is a slightly corally pink with a very subtle silver shimmer. So here is one coat, and this one is just a bit sheer on that first coat. It does apply really evenly though. Great formula on this one, it doesn't run or pool anywhere. So here is two coats. This one does cover completely in two, though I think if you are super, super picky, depending on your application, you might have some streaks that we would want a third coat for, but I don't see that being super likely. And this also does dry very shiny. So there is two coats of Warm Wishes. The next polish is called Tis the Season, and this is a much more orange, corally color compared to Warm Wishes. So here is one coat. This one covers really well on that first coat, just a little bit streaky. And this one doesn't have any shimmer to it at all either. Great formula. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two. And this dries very shiny as well. So there is two coats of Tis the Season. And the next polish is called Let's Celebrate, And this is a mix of purple, like little tiny micro glitters, some tiny gold flakes, and then a little gold shimmer that runs throughout it. You can get this opaque on its own. I do have a picture of it in three coats. It does take three coats, but for time's sake, I'm gonna swatch it as a topper in the video. And I'm layering this one over Tis the Season. So here is one coat. And this one is in a clear base. So you can put it over whatever color you want and it's not going to change the base color at all. And this one will dry a bit bumpy, so you will definitely want top coat. And the formula on this is okay. It feels just a little bit goopy to me just because of maybe the concentration of glitter and flakies. It applies pretty well, but it is kind of hard to distribute evenly um, across the entire nail just because it is a little bit on the goopy side. So there is one coat of Let's Celebrate. The next polish is called Good Tidings, and this is a periwinkle blue cream. So here is one coat. And this one is completely opaque in one coat. It is definitely on the thicker side. I don't think it's too thick quite yet, but I think it's right on the line. Obviously that thickness gives you the full coverage in one coat, but I do think it might be a little too thick once it's not brand new anymore, because it is starting out pretty thick already. So there is one coat of Good Tidings. The next polish is called The More The Barrier, and this is a pink, slightly foil metallic. So here is one coat. This one is completely opaque in one coat, and when I say slightly foil, I do mean that it has a little bit of sparkle to it. Good formula on this one, a little bit on the thicker side because it does have that one coat opacity. You do want to be careful to do your brush strokes straight. Most of them do go away as they dry, but a few will stick around. So there is one coat of The More The Barrier. The next polish is called Seas and Greetings, and this is kind of a medium grapey purple with a strong pink shimmer. So here's one coat. And this one is a bit sheer on the first coat. Formula does feel like it wants to run down the sides of the nail just a tiny, tiny bit. So here is two coats. And on two coats, I can still see my nail line just the tiniest bit, but it's not quite enough for me to say that this is good on two coats. So I'm going to do a third. That all just depends on your preference. You might be fine with this one in two. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely in three. And the color does darken a little bit on that third coat as well. The shimmer in this stands out really nicely and any brush strokes that you have when it's wet do go away as it dries. So there is three coats of Seas and Greetings. And the last polish is called Joy to the Waves, and this is a medium blue with a strong gold, kind of greeny gold shimmer. So here is one coat. And this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. 
And like the last one, this is just a little bit sheer on that second coat, so it is going to need a third. The shimmer stands out really nicely in this one, and like the last one again, the brush strokes that you do see go away as it dries. So here's three coats. And three coats does cover completely, and I also take back what I said about the brush strokes. On the first coat, it looked like they went away just because it was so much lighter, but here with the second coat dry, I can see that the majority of them are still there. So you do want to try to do straight brush strokes with this one. So there is three coats of Joy to the Waves. So I think Good Tidings is my favorite. The formula is really, really good, and it's a really nice, like, periwinkle blue color. Um, it was a little bit thick for me, but I right now I think it's nice. I like that it's a one-coater, so that one is my favorite. So that is the China Glaze Seas and Greetings collection for holiday 2016. You can find those all kinds of places online. Sally's Beauty Supply, Ulta carries them. They should be on headtotoebeauty.com right now as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later.